How's it going y'all? It's Ben Aqua and in this video I want to show you some of the issues that I've been having with the Mac Mini M1. I've been having a lot of fun with the Mac Mini M1, but it definitely does have some issues. I don't know if the model that I have, the 8GB version, is just cursed, but I've noticed some Bluetooth issues, Final Cut Pro issues, monitor issues, etc. And instead of just talking about the issues, I will be showing you the issues because some of y'all in the comments were saying that I'm making these things up and I'm just hating on Apple. And I'm honestly just reporting these things so that we can get a better understanding of what can be improved with the Mac Mini M1 so we can all have it as this amazing, tiny, and relatively inexpensive, powerful machine. And just a quick update, I did end up ordering the 16 gigabyte version of the Mac Mini M1, so that should be on its way. And I called Apple and they were able to actually extend my return policy on the eight gigabyte version so I can keep that one until I get the other 16 gigabyte version of the Mac Mini M1. Estimated delivery date is February 1st, sometimes it's sooner, but we shall see. And I'm really excited to check out that 16 gigabyte version. And some of you all might be noticing where is the Mac Mini M1 on my desk. I actually have it down here hidden. Let's see if I can get a better view of it. There we go. So I have the Mac Mini M1 hidden on this little rack that I got on Amazon. I'll link to that in the description below. And some people were saying that the USB-A ports on the Mac Mini M1 there, like if you have a lot of things plugged in there, that could be the cause of some of the issues, but I don't even really use those at all. I think it's just really just new software new hardware, you know, just the growing pains of a new product. The two devices that I've been using the most are the Logitech K80 keyboard, which does support Bluetooth low energy. It works perfectly fine most of the time, I would say about 95% of the time. And the Magic Trackpad 2 also works magnificently with the Mac Mini M1 most of the time. So the issue that I just noticed is I'm typing stuff here and it won't show up on the screen for several seconds, if at all. I'm gonna type something, and nothing's showing up on the screen until, what, five or six seconds later, and each individual character is taking its sweet time, as you can see. So I'm gonna type a little more, I'm typing just random stuff so you can see. So that should be showing up on the screen. And that's one of the biggest Bluetooth issues I've noticed with the Mac Mini M1 so far. I am running the Big Sur Public Beta 11.2 on here right now, but you can see it's been, what, like 10 seconds and it's now just finally catching up. Luckily, all I usually do is just restart my computer and the Bluetooth will go back to normal using this keyboard. So I just restarted my computer, opened up the same window, and I'm gonna type something and now it's actually showing up like normal with minimal latency. So the Bluetooth does work on Mac Mini M1, but you do have to restart the computer sometimes to get it to work. But the biggest issue I've been having so far is with Final Cut Pro on the Mac Mini M1. So I have these clips loaded up here. I'm gonna go ahead and open Activity Monitor also to kind of show you in real time what happens here. You see I'm moving my cursor around here and there should be audio coming out right now, right? So there's audio dropout issues. As you can hear, now the audio is back. But the audio dropped out for maybe 10 or 15 seconds. There's something to do with this VT decoder service thing. When I'm scrolling around, when I'm just going around like this, kind of scrubbing through the track, you can see that the memory starts to go nuts with that VT XPC service thing. It scrubs fine, and then, you know, if you do just a little bit of editing here, let's just like, you know, clip that out, go here and clip that out. Let's just say I wanted to layer this on top here. Audio still sounds fine. Scrunch this down a little bit. I can tell I'm just experiencing a little bit of lag now on the Magic Trackpad. I'm like moving my finger, and I can tell that the computer is trying to do something. As you can see, I'm you know scrubbing around that same video. All of a sudden, the memory is up to 3.22 gigabytes. And this was something that was not happening with Final Cut 10.5. This is a 10.5.1 problem here. Move this around here, and. Check it out, I'm scrolling around here, audio dropouts. This is what I'm talking about. All I did was just some basic edits, you know, one layer of another video on top of there, 
audio is completely dropped out. So what you do at this point is I basically just quit out of Final Cut Pro. I'm gonna go back into Final Cut Pro. It'll open up nice and fast per M1 quality. And now the audio is back. So that's the audio dropout issue. It might be an eight gigabyte RAM problem, but I don't experience the same issue on my eight gigabyte 2019 Intel MacBook Pro. Sometimes when I power on the Mac Mini M1 with my LG 27 inch UK 850-W monitor, the overall image looks kind of gray and washed out. And some of y'all were saying that I need to uncheck the HDR option in the displays settings. And as you can see here, HDR is not on, but usually a quick restart will fix this. This Logitech StreamCam webcam, which actually does work when I plug this in via USB-C into the Mac Mini M1. The camera comes up fine, but the camera uses a companion app, which I will open up here. It's called Logi Capture. It tries to open it up and it just completely just quits. And another thing that broke on the 11.2 public beta was Adobe Lightroom. So I'll open that up and it tries to open and then it just closes, as you can see right there, and check it out, Adobe Lightroom quit unexpectedly. And here's a screen capture that came in from Andy O using Logic Pro 10.6.1, and you can see that Logic keeps quitting unexpectedly, and Andy said that this rendered all of his projects unable to open. Thank you, Andy, for sending this in. I've also heard from other people about Logic Pro crashing unexpectedly, and like I said earlier, the M1 was just released. This is new hardware, it's new software. I don't expect everything to be perfect. I'm really excited for the future of the M1 because I think it shows a lot of promise. It has a ton of potential. So those are some of the main issues that I've noticed with the Mac Mini M1. Be sure to leave a comment on your experience with your machine, if everything's working fine for you, or if you have experienced some of the issues that I talked about in this video, or maybe some stuff that I didn't talk about in this video. Let me know in the comments. I love to see y'all down there. Smash that like button and subscribe if you're not already. Thank you so much for the support and for being part of the hashtag AquaFam and I'll see you in the next video.